Good afternoon, class. How are you today? Hello. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Hello, Misha. Yancy, Victoria. Hello. Good afternoon, Miss. Jonathan, Jeremy, Karen, Margarita, and Joseph. Hello, teacher. Hello, everyone. Well, today. Hello. hello. Good afternoon. Okay, class. We are now in the class number 14. Can you imagine two more classes and you will be finished on the module number two? Okay, today's topic is simple present WH questions and also um, use of can. So today we're going to start with the use of can for abilities and talent. Today is Tuesday, September 27. 2022. We almost finished this month, the month of the donuts. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so let's see what we have prepared for today. Well, the lesson. By the end of the class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Okay, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. And the agenda first is a review of the previous class. Activity two, we have more questions with WH. We have activity three, can and can't. And finally, the wrap up. Okay, so before we start the class, let me take the attendance. And yes, Daniel is here. Daniel Quintanilla. Present. Thank you, Daniel. Daniela Magali. Daniela Magali Asensio, no? Okay. Um, Delmi Arely Oliva. Present. Thank you. Esmeralda Elizabeth. Gabriela Abigail Arriaza. Jacqueline Vanessa. Okay, no, no. Jocelyn Gabriela Martinez. Present teacher. Jonathan Salinas. Present. Thank you, Jose Angel Molina. No. Jose Vidal Vázquez. Present. Okay, Vidal, it's good to have you in class. Karen Elizabeth Carpio. Present. Okay, Karen. Catherine Yasmin, Guatemala. Present. Margarita Elizabeth, Panameño. Present. Thank you. Mayra Arely Méndez. Present. Thank you, Mayra. Nimian Elizabeth León. Present. Thank you, Nimian. Victoria Ingrid Leal. Present. Thank you. Jancy Melanie Montes. Present. And finally, Jeremy Lisbeth López. Present. Thank you so much for your attendance. Okay. Very nice. Okay, let me see. So these are the activities. Um, okay, remember yesterday we learned the WH questions, who, what, when, where, how, and why. So what we're going to do is that we are going to go to this exercise and we have to make some questions. Okay, so I am going to share with you the exercise. Okay, let me see if you can see it. Can you see the exercise? Yes. Okay. So what are the instructions? We have to make questions from the cues using do or does. Look at the example. Example, where you live. So the question is, where do you live? Okay? Because it's you, we use do. Now, number one, how you go to school? So what is the correct question? 
How do you go to school? Exactly. How do you go to school? It's do. Why? Why is it do? Uh, first person? Uh, no. Second person. Uh, hacer. Yes, because that's the object you. Okay. Das is only for he, she, and it. And it. Yeah, third person singular. Now, number two, where he works. So to make a question, I said, where? Where does he work? Does he work? So in this case, I use the auxiliary does. Where does he work? And number three, where in class N? When does class end? When does, mm -hmm, exactly, when does, because class is singular, is something. When does the class end? Number four, your father. What? What does? Okay, your father. Your father do. Exactly. Why does? Porque está hablando en tercera persona. Exactly. Your father, right? Your father is he, a third person. Mm -hmm. Number five, who? Do you? Exactly. Do you? He in the photo. The photo? As you can see, once you know, once you are sure about the subject, it's it's easy if, to identify if I use do or does. Number six, how many cousins, how many cousins do, do, you, do you have? have? Do you have, exactly. Cuántos primos tienes? How many cousins do you have? I have like 35. Cousins, I have a lot. <laughs> okay, number seven. Why? Why do you get up early on Sundays? Exactly. Why do you get up early on Sundays? Sundays, Sundays, you have to sleep late. Why do you get up so early on Sundays? Okay, number nine, which? Ah, they're using which. Which kind of food? Kind of food. Aha, miren, es kind. Con de al final. Kind. Aha, which kind of food, kind of food do, do you, do you prefer? prefer? prefer. Prefer, exactly. Prefer. What, which kind of food do you prefer? Number nine. What does? What, what is for? What is for? She play? Does, exactly. Does she play? What is for? Does she play? And the last question. Where do or does this train? Does. It's correct. Where does this train go? Okay. So the only thing here is do or does. Okay, do or does depends on the subject. You, he, or it. You, he, she, it, we, they, I, etc. Okay, we check our answers. Ah, it's because I put the article that when does class end. But it's the, the grammar structure is correct. Okay, so now let's see. That was a refresh, a refresh of the previous. A class, okay. We continue. Teacher. Can you see the screen? Teacher, tengo una pregunta. Sí, 
digan. Ajá, es con relación a los doble question, porque yo ayer estaba estudiando un poco y vi que en algunas preguntas no usan el do. Eh, ¿Hay casos o, o hay alguna regla para cuándo va o no el do? ¿Puede darme un ejemplo? Tengo uno, por ejemplo, este que dice, who are watching the movie? ¿Quién ah, está viendo la, peli la película? Ok, that is different because it's not simple present. It's pre present progressive. Las WH questions pueden ser dependiendo, las usamos en todos los tiempos gramaticales. En el presente, en el pasado, en el futuro, en el presente progresivo, en el presente perfecto, etc. Entonces... En este caso, estamos viendo simple present WH questions. Y para el simple present sí vamos a usar el do y el das. Ahora bien, si por ejemplo fuera con el verbo to be, entonces usáramos is, no, y am or are. No usáramos do, ni das, ni verbo. Sino solamente es. En el presente progresivo también se utiliza el verbo to be, is, am, um, and are, y el verbo en presente progresivo, como el ejemplo que dio. Who are watching? Watching. Uh -huh. The movie. The movie. Uh -huh. Entonces, depende, depende del tiempo para usarlo. ¿no? In this case, we are learning simple present WH questions. Recuerden que okay. Simple present questions, yes, no questions, que solo se hacen con do o con das y el verbo, ¿verdad? Como, do you study English? Do you have a pet? Does your mother work? Does your father have a car? Etc. Mm -hmm. Y yes. the WH question es para más información, ¿verdad? Y por ejemplo, where does your father work? Uh -huh. Where do you live? How often do you watch TV? Etc. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now, well, the Jonathan's questions help to review <laughs> the structure, right? WH question word, do or does. We can also make it negative. A subject verb and complement. Uh, now, uh, this is, um, I want you to know about the use of who. WH question who. Vale, vamos a ver este ejemplo. Dice, who doesn't turn on the camera in the class? ¿Qué quiere decir esta pregunta? A ver, ¿quién me, quién me traduce la pregunta? ¿Quién no enciende la cámara en la clase? Excelente, Victoria. Yes, who doesn't turn on the camera in the class? Ok. In this case, we don't know the subject of the action. Como no sabemos quién, no sabemos el sujeto, no sabemos quién hace la acción, no sabemos quién es el que no enciende la cámara en la clase, nosotros queremos saber, por eso preguntamos, who doesn't turn on the camera in the class? So we ask who, and we usually use the third person singular. Así que como pueden ver en este ejemplo, no hay un sujeto, así que de una sola vez nos saltamos, who, el das y el verbo. Aquí tendría que ir un sujeto. Oops. Pero como no sabemos quién es, entonces de un solo nos saltamos al verbo. ¿Quién no enciende la cámara en la clase? Y está en este caso negativo. Who doesn't? Pero veamos otros ejemplos. Who has a cat? ¿Quién tiene un gato? ¿Quién tiene un gato? Who participates in class? Entonces, ¿quién participa en clase? Who plays the guitar very well? ¿Quién toca la guitarra muy bien? Who loves tacos? Me, I love tacos. Okay. Who loves tacos? ¿Quién ama los tacos? Entonces, ¿sí entendemos cuándo vamos a utilizar esta estructura? Cuando utilizamos who para saber quién hace la acción. No sabemos quién, pero queremos saber. Entonces, vamos a utilizar la tercera persona. Usualmente, pero si eso es en plural, nosotros queremos saber quién es. Y ya sabemos que son más de una persona, entonces sí vamos a utilizar el, el plural, ¿verdad? Who have a cat o who participate in class. Pero usualmente es la tercera persona singular. No utilizamos ni el 
No usamos el auxiliar, solamente de una sola vez al verbo. Entonces, cambia un poquito la estructura, pero es en ese caso especial de who. ¿Que me ¿Pueden dar algunos ejemplos en el chat me puede, o decirme? Abre su, su micrófono y puede decir, some examples, you can give me some examples. I have another example. Who lives in San Salvador? Okay, very nice. Tell me who has a car? Who works at home? ¿Quién trabaja desde casa? Who works at home? Who eats my lunch? Okay. okay. ¿Quién? Who sleeps in class? Who sleeps in class? Ok, Victoria. Uh -huh. More examples. Who listens to music, Margarita? Ok. Who likes to eat pizza? Ok, Vidal. I like to eat pizza. Another question, who has a cell phone? Everybody has a cell phone. Ah, but who has a Motorola cell phone? Who has a Motorola cell phone? Can you raise your hand? No one in the class. Nobody has. <laughs> Another question. Who has a dog? Ah, okay. <laughs> Jonathan just stole my idea. Okay. <laughs> who has, who, who, Mayra? It's W H O. Who has a pet? Who has a pen? Who has a dictionary? Who doesn't eat lunch? Who likes to eat sushi? Okay, very nice. Excellent. Very nice. So I love this class because you are so intelligent. Okay, so let's continue practicing now, guys. I am going to send you this link. And please, um, do the exercise, okay? Do the exercises over there. I will send you the link in this moment. So it's there in your, uh, right in your chat here via Zoom. And also in a moment you will get it in your WhatsApp group. In the WhatsApp, only two, two or three people send the questions and the others. Okay, did you receive the link? There are 20, 20 questions. Okay, in these questions, WH, we have, they are in the simple present and we have with the verb to be, and also we do and does. I don't know if you can see my screen, can you? Yes, right? Yes, I can. Okay, so we have organized the words to ask WH questions. Okay, in the number one, it would be, what is the order? Where do you? Where do you? Today. 
Do they? Exactly. Where do they come from? Number two. What? What does she? What does she do? Exactly. What does she do? Number three. When do you when eat do you breakfast? Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Okay. When do you eat breakfast? And number four. Why does he think it's a study? Why does he study English? Uh, number five. How, how many? many uh, books? How, how many do? How many what? <laughs> how many books? Yeah. How many books? ¿Cuántos libros? Uh, how many books mm. read per year? ¿Cuántos libros lees por año? Ha, how many significa cuántos? How many pupusas do you eat per week? Ok, per significa four. Ok, number six. How much? Yes. How okay. much sugar? Exactly. Uh, In this case, we use we don't use how many. We use how much. Why? Does he want? Mm -hmm. Why do we use much and not many? And not ma how many sugar? We use how much sugar. Why? Contable? No contable? No, es no contable. Because sugar is non contable. No contable. Exactly. I, I know. You remember. You remember the class. Okay, number seven. How is your house? How is your house? Number eight. When do when do they, they play soccer? Exactly. Number nine. Who reads short days? Ah, you see, we have the example as as we as we just saw. Who writes short tales? ¿Quién lee cuentos cortos? Number 10. When When do Yes, when do you, you celebrate your birthday. When birthday. You celebrate your birthday. Birthday. Your birthday. Okay. Eleven. Where does she read the newspaper? Okay, where does she read the newspaper? Number 12. How many brothers do you have? Excellent, Jocelyn. Okay, more participants. More participants. Teacher. Yes, Jeremy. Disculpe, se me fue la luz aquí en la casa. Me desconecté un momento. 
Ah, ok, Jenny. Ok, eh, les envié un enlace de ese ejercicio. Ok, number 13. How often does she, she travel by Europe? Europe. By mm. Euro. Okay. Euro. 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 How often does she travel by Euro? Okay, 14. Who studies, Who studies English? English? Exactly. King is studying English. Who studies English? Me. All of you. <laughs> okay, number eight, 15. Where do they go, they to, go school? to school? Exactly. Uh, 16. What, what does your does sister, your sister do buy by this day? Okay, what does your sister buy in the store? 17. How often, How often does, does he go to the movies? Great. We almost finished. 18. When do you get up? Do you get up? Night. What time? What, what time? time is it? What time is it? And 20. How much money? How much money do, do you, you need? I need five thousand dollars. Do you have five thousand dollars for me <laughs> to buy a new car? I need to buy a new car. Okay. Let's check. Excellent. Wow, it's just perfect. You are experts now using WH question words. Great. Very nice, very nice people. Okay, now we are going to go over a conversation practice. This is about talents, a contest, a TV talent contest. Okay, we have Kyla and Philip. I need two volunteers to read the, the conversation. Two volunteers, please. Only two, only two. Hi, teacher. Okay, Jonathan is going to be Philip, and I need Kyla. Okay, Jocelyn, thank you. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can see red really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I, I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Thank you so much, both of you, for your participation. Okay, applause for Jonathan and for Jocelyn. So it's about a talent contest. And they want to enter the talent contest. It says, can you sing or act? Be a star, TV talent contest, Saturday 9 a.m. Have you seen on TV any, or do you see on TV any talent contest? Do you watch any talent contest? No? International of Salvadorian contests. Like, ven a cantar. Or something like that. <laughs> Or America, America Gags, Gags Talent. No? You don't watch those shows? Talent shows. The voice. The voice, exactly. There were there were many Mexican talent contests, for example, La Academia, right? 
Number one. <laughs> number one. <laughs> the number one. Okay. So, what can Kyla do and what can Philip do? What can they do? What can Kyla do? Concurso de talento. Okay, they want to enter the talent. But what, what is her talent? What can she do? Cantar. She sing? can. She can sing. sing. I can. No, no she can piano? sing. She can play the piano. She can play the piano. And what can he do? She can sing. She, she can, can sing. sing. But él puede tocar piano. Okay. Philip, Philip can sing. Oh, sí, 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 sí. He can sing. She can play piano. So she can play the piano. He can sing. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, what can you do? Para decir lo que podemos hacer, our talents and abilities, we use can. What can you do? Well, I can speak English and I can teach English to other people. I can drive a car, I can ride a bike. Mm, I can dance, I, I think I can dance, but I can't sing. I cannot play any musical instrument, but I can cook, okay? And what are your talents? What can you do? Can you tell me? I can cook. Victoria can cook too. Okay, Victoria. Let's see in the chat. We have I can draw, dibujar. Okay, you can draw. That's a very nice talent. Jancy can cook. I can cook. Also, I can play soccer. Vida. Besides that, I can uh, play video game. That's all. Only oh, Vidal is very talented. He can do many things, right? I guess he's a very good soccer player. And what can you cook, Vidal? What is your 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 um your favorite dish to cook? Your special. I I like I like to cook um, pizza. Oh, you can make pizza. Wow, that's great. Yes. Okay. I can eat. <laughs> Vladimir can eat. He, he's, that's his big talent. <laughs> I can eat too if you invite me. Okay. Other people, Delmi says, I can cook too. I can cook. I can cook. Okay. To see. Um, Delmi says, oh, you can't play soccer. I can't play soccer either, Delmi, don't worry, I cannot. I'm not good at sports. <laughs> Nivian, what can you do? Daniel, what can you do? Delmi, Margarita, Karen. Bueno, Delmi ya escribió. Okay, we have Katrin. Oh, Daniel can drive a truck. Wow, Daniel. Nimian says that she can use Excel program. Oh, Karen can draw. That's great. Who can dance? <laughs> Who can sing? Mm, Who can ride a bicycle? Who can play? Oh. Victoria says, I can dance cumbia. Okay, Victoria, <laughs> it's easy. Okay. Uh, Catherine can cut men's hair. Oh, that's nice, Catherine. And girls' hair? Because I need a haircut. <laughs> okay, Catherine. Uh, Delvi says that she can't ride a motorcycle and it's too sad <laughs> because she wants to ride a bicycle, a motorcycle, but you can learn. Who can speak English? All of you can speak English. <laughs> Who can speak Chinese or Korean? 
Okay, motorcycle is ride, ride a motorcycle. Okay. Good. So let's see. In the next, we have the structure of can for ability. Okay. It's very easy. This is very, very easy. Okay, is the subject, <laughs> the subject are you, he, she, it, we, and they. Then we have can or can't, negative. This is the contracted form and the full form is cannot. And then we have the verb in the base form. In the base form, okay? Then in questions, and we had the example, I can sing very well, you can sing very well, she can't sing at all. Okay, in questions, it's easy because we only put can at the beginning. Can you sing? Can I sing? Can he sing? Can she sing? Can we sing? Can they sing? Yes, I can. Yes, you can. Yes, he can. No, she can't. No, we can't. No, they can't. So it's easy because you don't have to change anything. You just have the subject, can or can, and the verb. That's it. And you don't need, you don't, no, 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 okay? You don't put the yes to the verb in the third person. You don't need to, okay? And in the questions, information questions, we just put the WH question word first. What can I do? You can see. Who can see? Philip can, okay? And we have more examples in the next part. Can I can I continue to the next slide? Can I go to the next slide? Okay. In the next slide, we have more examples. It's the same, but with more different verbs. I can jump, you can play, he can run, she can dance. It can't study, they can't surf, we can't sing. Examples, I can swim, he can't play the trunks. They can play soccer, she, she can jump. Okay, you never come she. She can jump. Ah, Jonathan ha puesto una pregunta que si may es parecido a can. Okay, in this, in this case, we are using can for abilities and talents. Estamos usando aquí el can como para decir habilidades y talentos. Pero can también se puede utilizar, no lo estamos utilizando aquí ahorita, pero también Jonathan se puede utilizar para permiso, para pedir permiso. Entonces, cuando pedimos permiso, por ejemplo, teacher, can I go to the bathroom? ¿Verdad? Se pide, puedo ir al baño. Can I go to the bathroom? O can I go to the restroom? Or can I go up? ¿Puedo salirme? Um, can I use this? ¿Puedo usar esto? Eso es para permiso. Y entonces, en ese caso, eh, podemos usar can, pero también, como preguntaba Jonathan, usamos may. May es más formal, es más educado para pedir permiso. May I go to the restroom? May I go to the restroom? May I go out? What? May I use your, your pencil? Okay. 
En ese caso, teacher, se podrían usar ambos, solo que may es más formal. Exactly. Teacher. 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 Yes, Victoria. Yo había entendido que count es para habilidades, lo que usted dijo al inicio. Sí. May es sí para pedir permiso. Posibilidades, no. Sí, también puedo utilizar can. Uh, o sea que sí tienen parecido a la hora de preguntas. De solicitar permiso. Es, es lo mismo uno que otro, solo que may es más formal. Exactamente. Mm, pero, no, pero may no se puede utilizar para hablar de habilidades. De habilidades, no. Estrictamente solo can. Ahí, ok. Thank you, teacher. Ahora, otra cosa que se puede utilizar para hablar de habilidades es el que, yo, el que cada vez les pongo al principio en los objetivos. Pero ese ya lo voy a escribir aquí. Es be able to. Ser capaz de. Y ese se combina con el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, for example, I am able to speak English. And Vidal is able to make pizza. Uh -huh. Jocelyn is able to draw. Okay, eso también se usa para habilidades. Incluso también para decir que uno es bueno en algo. También con el verbo to be, I am good at. Be good at. Y se utiliza el verbo, pero en ing. For example, Jonathan is good at eating. Ok, Jonathan is good at eating. Jonathan, oh, sorry. Jonathan es bueno. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jancy is good at cooking. Delmi is good at dancing cumbias. Uh -huh. Daniel is good at driving trucks. Uh -huh. Victoria is good at speaking English. Speaking English. Okay. <laughs> Margarita. Margarita is good at. I don't remember Margarita. But let's say Margarita is good at riding a motorcycle. Pero lleva, como ven, una estructura diferente. But in this moment, we are using can. Can, can, and can. Now, what time is it? 1.45. Okay, we have time. I will send you in groups. I will send you to some groups. And in your groups, I want you to practice this. Tell me two ability, abilities or talents you have. And tell me about what these famous people can do. What can Adele do? What can Cristiano Ronaldo do? What can Roger Federer do? What can Shakira do? And what can Johnny Depp do? Okay? Is that okay? Is it understood? Sí? Estamos bien en lo que vamos a hacer? Okay. Voy a hacer las rooms, the breakout rooms. And in one moment, you will receive the, this, this slide.
Okay. Okay. Uh, tell me two abilities or talent you had. I can sing and I can cook. Okay. Tell me Mimian. about. Sorry. Sorry, está lloviendo. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, la siguiente, uh, tell me about what these famous people can, can do. Adele can sing. Cristiano Ronaldo can jump. Jump. Oh, jump. Creo que es saltar. Sí. Saltar. I can oh, origami. Yo puedo origami. I can do origami. I can do origami. Puedo hacer origami. I can do origami. Ah. Eh, I can do use computer. Computer. You can use a computer, okay. I can drop. I can drop. You can draw. Dibujar. Uh -huh. Draw. Yo puedo dibujar. Utilizando siempre el. Ajá, o sea, como hacer otro deporte, porque es lo que él puede. Porque, ve, por ejemplo, eh, Cristiano Ronaldo, he, eh, he can jump, puede saltar, o sea, para cabecear. Eh, he can eh, run, eh, fast run. And he can play basketball, me imagino que no puede jugar basketball, o sea, porque puede jugar fútbol, no puede. Ya sería mucho pedirle. <risa> <risa> sí. Shakira. Ah. Uh, can dance? Apenas She can dance. She can dance. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Play tennis. Play tennis. O sea, former tennis player. Former sí. tennis player. Entonces, Roger. Roger. Former. Sí, former. Play tennis. Tennis player. Ok. Ok, repeat, please. Uh, tell me two abilities or talent you have. Mm -hmm. Draw and cook. Number one. Number two. Eh, Adele can sing. Cristiano Ronaldo. Hello, Catherine and Karen. Hello. Hello, teacher. What are your abilities or talents? I can drag. Así se dice, teacher. I o sea, yo. Dibujar. Drop. Okay. I can. Draw. I. I can play soccer. Oh, nice. Okay, thank you, Karen. I can put my hair and I can cook different uh, cat comida. Okay, you can make different food. Perfect. Thank <laughs> you.
Ese sería... I can drive motorcycle, cars, truck, and bus. And I can play Okay, very nice. Okay, I need volunteers to tell me abilities or talents you have. Only, only one or two participants. Okay, participants. So tell me two abilities or talents you have. Oh, me too. I, I can cook and I can sing. Nice. Can you sing for us? <laughs> sing. No. Sing, Mayra, sing. <laughs> Just kidding, Mayra. Okay. Okay, another person? Yes, see. Um, I can cook and I can dance. Oh, mm. I can dance. Mi compañero Daniel me dijo que él podía Manejar motocicleta y jugar fútbol. Pero digámoslo en inglés. <laughs> Pero ¿cómo sería? He can. He can. Drive motos, motorcycle. He can play soccer. Ok, so Daniel can ride a motorcycle and he can play soccer. Ok, thank you, Melanie. You did it very well. Ok, what, tell me, what can Adele do? She can sing. She can sing very well, right? She's a great singer. And what can Cristiano Ronaldo do? He can play soccer. He can play soccer, okay. What about Roger Federer? Former tennis she player. She can play tennis. Federer can play tennis, okay. What about Shakira? What can she can sing? She can sing and dance. And then she can dance. She can sing and dance. What about Johnny Depp? Uh, he can actor. He, he can, can act. act. He can act. act. Exactly. He can act. Very nice. That's great. Okay, people. I will assign homework for tomorrow. The homework is this. Sure. Perdón, se puede. Ajá, en ese caso cuando estamos usando el can y hablamos de tercera persona, no le tenemos que agregar la S al verbo, al final. No. No. Por eso es más fácil usar que porque no se le pone. Nada. Okay. Gracias. <laughs> ok, now, the homework. Describe a talented person. So tomorrow you will talk about a talented person. Maybe it's a person that you admire, a person that you say, wow, that person is very talented. I admire him or I admire her, okay? You have to include the name, the age, the nationality, some things about the personality of this person, uh, the talents or abilities that this person has, and maybe some hobbies. This person can be famous or not. It could be maybe your father, your brother, your best friend, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, I don't know. 
someone you admire and that in your opinion this person is talented okay so please get ready for tomorrow and we are going to listen to you talking about this person okay do you have any questions a ver si entendí bien. Vamos a hablar acerca de los talentos de nuestra familia, ¿podría ser? ¿Sí? Van a hablar de una persona talentosa, alguien que usted admira. Usted dice, esa persona es muy talentosa, por cualquier cosa que usted admire de esa persona. Puede ser famosa o no. Puede ser una persona famosa, pero si no, puede ser alguien de su familia, un amigo, alguien que usted conozca que es talentoso. ¿Ok? Sí. ¿Alguna pregunta o alguna duda que tengan, por ejemplo, en la plataforma? No, teacher, thank you. So far, so good. Everything is clear as the chara or as the water. I hope that is clear as the water. Okay, um, we have only one more minute and I want you to tell me what did you learn in this class? No sé si les compartí la pantalla de las habilidades. Ahí está. Para que tomen nota de lo que van a hacer. Okay, can someone tell me what did you learn in this class or what did you like? ¿Qué aprendió? ¿Qué le gustó? ¿Qué no le gustó? Use can and can't. The use of can and can't. New vocabulary. New vocabulary. We learn use to can and can't. Can and can't. Okay. And also we learn the questions with who. You remember that? Questions with who? Yes. For example, Jonathan. Eh, ya se me olvidó. <laughs> <laughs> For example, who uh, has uh, a cat? Who has a cat? Who has? Uh, what can you do? Okay. WH questions with can. What can you do? Excellent. Sport are... Does she play? Can you repeat, Victoria? Can you repeat, Victoria? Okay. Please. What sport does she play? Where does she play? What, what sport ah. does she play? Okay, what is for the she play? Okay, also questions with what and something else. Con el que y algo más, ¿verdad? Como what color, what food, what type of music, etc. Okay, class, it's time to finish. I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a nice afternoon, okay? Okay, bye. Bye. bye, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye.